few political memes I wanted to go over, but I don't know if we have time. Also, I really wanted to watch this 25 minute video. <laughs> but I don't know if there's, if it's like, it's not like, it's not like worthy content, but. Ability argument. I can educate people about Bernie Biden electability argument. That's why I have, do you know why I have a check mark on Twitch? Remember guys, this is why when I talk about this stuff, this is why I say, hey, let's look at the polling data. Are there problems here? Blah, blah, blah. Remember before Super Tuesday, we're like, well, a lot of Bernie's fan base is really young. You know, that minority support, it's just Hispanics that are pretty young. Um, there's a reason why we always look at the data, guys, and we don't um, we don't screech and screech and screech about things we want to happen. Because, oh man, this it would be mighty embarrassing if takes like this ended up being what you were screaming about going public. Hey, buddy. Because I owned someone on this debate. Now, I wasn't trying to own. I wasn't trying to win a debate. I was just trying to educate and inform. And we had a reasonable discussion before they got so emotional about getting owned and feeling like they got out debated by their community and they got insecure. But if they put aside the insecurity and went back and watched that debate again, they would see everything I said about Bernie Biden electability has come true. They would see that everything that I've projected has come true. And my confidence about the weakness of Joe Biden as a candidate has only been confirmed. Has only been confirmed. Can't even fix his audio right, and I doubled his fucking Twitter reach. And somebody on Twitch who calls themselves a political commentator said that Delaney had made a bunch of amazing challenges to progressive platforms and they say that they know shit about politics and they- Remember that Medicare for All is one of the big policies that Bernie has gotten the most pushback on um, moving forward. Like even Warren has been a little, like blacked off a little bit on the Medicare for All stuff. That was one of the biggest dividing things. This was way long ago when everybody was like, oh yeah, Medicare for all, huge winner policy. Everybody was it. And I was like, I don't know, man. Delaney uh, made some pretty effective challenges to it, my dude. And that's been one of the biggest divides in the Democratic debates over Medicare for all. But I guess we can pretend like that didn't happen. They advance themselves as some sort of like knowledgeable commentator. And then they get, and here's the worst, they get fragile when it's pointed out they're stupid. And they go in attack mode, as opposed to just being like, you know what, I'm new to politics. I Maybe it's my wealth and my status and my fear of paying more taxes that's making me close my eyes to reality that Bernie Sanders is going to win this fucking election. Bernie Sanders is going to win this election, folks. Democratic nominee, Bernie Okay, so just to explain a little bit, our, our friend, Destiny, has gone onto the website predicted.com and made a and he's making a bet. Sanders. Wait, no! Are you guys buying these? Wait, did the price change? So he's okay, buying, okay. Buy so how you, under, so just to explain predict it for everybody. Basically what happens is you have the ability to bet for and against an event taking place. And the probability of that event taking place is represented by a number. So right here in this example, when 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 uh, Destiny purchased these shares, they said there was an 83% chance that he would not be the nominee, right, of the Democratic Party. Now, if you believe that 83% chance is too low, meaning it's he's definitely not going to be the nominee, I'm 100% sure, then you would buy those shares at 83 cents and then if when the nomination is determined this summer if bernie sanders is not the nominee you would gain from 83 percent to 100 so you'd get a 17 percent return right on your money now if bernie sanders is the nominee you lose it all right you lose it all so now the one thing about predicted is you're you're able of selling your bet your close your position before the event takes place so if it becomes more likely that Bernie Sanders becomes the nominee and those numbers go up, then 
you might want to cut your losses. Cut your losses immediately. Cut your losses embarrassingly and on stream. That might be an example of what you could do. And you would get some of your money back. So what Mike is talking about, that panic sell right there is very, very common uh, bad investment advice. Um, the the I mean, I guess it doesn't traditionally apply in these markets, but I, I, I'm pretty sure he would carry this over to traditional finance advice as well. If your stock is falling, sell, sell, sell before you lose it all. Sell, sell, sell before you lose it all, right? It's just, I, I, it's a little bit different because I'm not a political candidate, so the markets aren't exactly congruent, but like, this is like standard panic sell advice. Sell one, buy one high, sell one low so you don't lose everything. And then if it goes up again, we'll buy back in to get it all the way up and then sell if it drops. Like really, really standard, yeah. Um, for people saying that I bought it to the Bernie shares too early, um, if I had perfect hindsight, then yeah, I did. But like, I didn't know that Bernie was going to um, have such a strong showing in Iowa and New Hampshire. I wasn't 100% sure how much that would carry him. Um, I mean, yeah, obviously we could have timed our buy better, but right now it's still a decent buy. And the point at the time, also keep in mind as well, because um, some people seem to forget this because they make a really big deal about whether or not I gain or lose $850 or $1,000. I don't really care at the end of the day. All I said at the time was that if you're going to go on every single day and you're going to make predictions about which candidate you think is going to be it, and I really did at the time think that I don't think Bernie can do it. Um, and I felt pretty strongly about it at the time. Um, I don't think my word is worth anything. I'm not even willing to put a little bit of money behind it. Like, why am I going to sit here and pretend that I know what I'm talking about to you guys if I'm not even willing to stake like $1,000 on it? Like, what the fuck? Why would you listen to anything I say? Like, I'm sitting here telling you like oh i'm very confident about this well am i are you if you're that confident why don't you fucking bet on it well um i don't know that's just kind of how i feel maybe it's like a perverse way of thinking of like political commentary but like if you're so confident about your takes oh put some money behind it let's see how, let's see how confident you actually are let's see if you win in the long run on your political takes um i'd be curious on that but yeah that's 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 kind of my view so i put money on bernie losing five months ago because i just didn't think he could do it um i i, I or however many months ago because it, it seemed like he could never move above a certain level of national support his base is too young he doesn't have the minority support um yeah, the, and the Democratic Party is generally more moderate, even though Mike spent all these times arguing the opposite on all of that, that the youth vote would turn out, that the Democratic Party is actually way more progressive. Remember, that was our first debate with Mike. He was trying to make the argument to me that the Democratic Party is actually way more progressive than that. Um, and that Bernie, you know, just isn't moving high in the national polls because there's so many people running. But once they start dropping out, a lot of those will go to Bernie. By the way, Warren dropping out, that might not even help Bernie that much. Most of those people might actually end up going to Biden. We don't even know yet. Even though all these Bernie bros are crying about Warren spoiling the election for Bernie, she might have actually been helping him if she could gather up some delegates and then pledge him to Bernie at the end. Her dropping might actually just send more votes towards uh, Biden. But Now, it would be it would be giving up it would be admitting that you were wrong for many 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 months and you were passionately wrong and you were blatantly wrong oh just for um oh fuck showing my browser is so scary um there's like from from what i've seen somebody just linked to political polls or whatever apparently it's like 50 50 split for sanders and biden right now as well and that's recent um who knows what that'll look like going forward after Super Tuesday. This is really recent, but like maybe that'll change even more dramatically going forward. We're not sure. I linked it in chat, but um, wow. So Warren dropping out doesn't even really help Bernie here. And Bloomberg dropping out definitely doesn't help Bernie. <laughs> um, in front of everybody, which would be kind of embarrassing. And it would hurt your ego because it would be clear that you were just an amateur and you didn't know what the fuck you're talking about. But you would at least save a few hundred bucks. Or you could rock. Keep in mind, when I call other people amateurs or stupid as fuck, um, I'm usually criticizing their thought process, not their conclusions. Um, I, can, I don't really know if anybody's going to win or lose. I'm not that divine of a political fucking god. I, I, but I'll admit that openly. But the, I don't claim to know that 100%. These are just my takes and my views, and then I have my reasons for backing it up. I'm usually critical of other people's reasonings when they start telling me they don't believe certain polls or the youth vote is going to turn out massively, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but... Ride it down with the ship. Ride it all the way down. Show those Bernie bros you know what you're talking about. You know politics. You don't need to save $800 or $500. Let it ride, baby. Let it ride. I mean, that would be someone who is confident and smart. You know? So speaking of confidence, Mike tried to show me up by betting on Bernie in the Iowa primary. He bet on Bernie, and then he sold it before the primary was over because he was so fucking scared that Bernie might not win. You know? That's what they would do. They would go like, you know what? It's a temporary fluctuation. I'm sticking with it. Now, so let's go ahead. So does everybody understand?
So my prediction has never been a temporary fluctuation. Mine has been one that I've held, I think, since about Biden got in. That's been my prediction. It hasn't fluctuated just because somebody might have won one or two primaries. Understand what is happening here. He's saying that the 83% chance that on the that the predicted market had that Bernie would not be the nominee is too low. And so he's going to invest all he's gonna invest money into the bet. Are you really that confident? Yeah, of course. Not. He has no chance. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Now, 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 now. Listen, listen. You could I don't understand how he could be such a character. Why has he become a character of himself? He's all he's always been this way. All of these guys have always been this way. I hope that's one thing we walk out of this shitty lefty arc and realizing is that all of these guys on the left, whether it's the Sun or even Kyle Kalinsky or even Michael Brooks or even Ben Burgess. If you saw Ben tweeting the other day that like Obama is orchestrating this massive conspiracy behind the scenes, that these people are all just hacks. At the end of the day, what's important to them is satisfying a political ideology. They don't really care about how they get to any conclusions or looking at any data or whatever they just have an ideology and they want to feed into it that's all they care about like they have some sometimes they have some good insight if their ideology doesn't lead them astray but um you always have to question whatever they say because you don't know at the end of the day if they used a good thought process to arrive somewhere or if they were just like adhering to a very strict and rigorous um political ideology. lily blair let's say bernie sanders i think it's more likely than not he won't be the nominee and in december that was a low point for bernie right but to arrogantly say he has no chance. Oof. You know, folks, I I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. But it's so fucking funny. And the thing is, you can't say that he wasn't educated by me. Because the reason why I'm a partner on this platform is because of our debate where he lost horribly about Bernie Biden electability. And I educated him about how the electorate works, what the ideological spectrum is, why Bernie Sanders might appeal to somebody like, say, Joe Rogan and those guys who would never vote for Hillary Clinton. And they represent a huge part of the electorate. As opposed to people like Destiny, which represent about 3% of the electorate. You know, the neolibs. Nobody's a fucking neolib in reality. Those are, they are overwhelmingly in the very wealthy people or in the... So in reality, he's, he was wrong. When in the past, when I said he was wrong, he is still wrong. Um, I've been completely validated on that, at least based on Super Tuesday. Um, youth turnout didn't happen. Um, Bernie's popularity with minorities has always been overstated, mainly around young voters. And most or a lot of Democrats see themselves as more moderate or conservative rather than hard left. Um, <clears throat> we can even look at Congress and we can look at the justice stems to find further proof of this as well. Like <clears throat> DC, New York, professional media consulting party circles. They're not actual voters. The fiscal conservative social liberal is not really a thing in American politics right? To a 39 cents. So his value has declined from 87 cents a share to 61 cents. Now, if I were Destiny, I would see this clip and I would go, thank you, Mike, for reminding me. And I would cut my losses. I would cut them immediately. I would say, Mike was right. Thank you, Mike, for saving me all that money. I'm cutting my losses. I'm throwing in the towel, you know, because what happens when Bernie wins Iowa, New Hampshire, folks? You think this number is going to go up or are going to go down? What do you guys think? Which, what do you think, guys? Yeah, I was a non-binary pals. My, my headset's all fucked up. He's not going to cut his losses and you know it. What? No. Well, Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, he. I would like to see that he's still in the bet. I would like to see that Destiny's still making this bet. Because we could probably assume that he quietly backed out from his bet, even though he's still trying to spread the prop. This is why he's a bad faith propagandist. Because he probably backed out of this bet. Wait, how do you log in to predict it? Um, hold on one second. Log in. The thing is, is unfortunately, like, even if Bono I was... Destiny. Bonus meme. Steven. Um, I'm trying not to be like, I don't, I'm not trying to be like a, like talking shit or whatever, but like, even if I was embarrassed by this, I wouldn't back out because it's not like a huge amount of money to me. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not like dying if I lose a grand. Um, hold on one second. Um... <clears throat> hold on, fuck. I have to load the fucking page. Is it how can you see like my history of buys and sells? Is there a way to see that here? View. Fuck. I know there's some way to see like Fuck. Info? Oh, 
open all? Oh. No, wait, this is just what I'm holding right now. Fuck, I don't know how to see my... Whoa, holy shit. Is that about to show some credit information? Shell. I don't <laughs> I know there's a way to see your... Whatever. You can see that I bought this because... Hey, of... Destiny, I really like your new haircut. You don't look like a bushwhacker anymore, keep. Click the bell. It's up bonus meme. Yee yee yee. Oh. You bought oh, so you see I bought three months ago. That's it. I haven't I haven't sold or bought or anything. I haven't panic sold or whatever. I've been sitting on these I've been sitting on these hardcore. That's cute that Mike would like assume that I would do what he does though, buy and sell because I'm scared of my prediction. But okay. But he's still trying to spread the meme. So he's like putting bad information out to his community while quietly protecting himself. I mean that's what a capitalist would do, so it would be true to form or a sociopath or whatever. Um so if he's not backing out and cutting his losses, I think we should all keep you laugh, lost $850 at him until he proves he's still in this bet. You know what I mean? Until he proves it. Because God knows, God knows, he wouldn't want to admit that I was right and he was wrong, would he? I also did a bet. I don't know if you know, but I have 1,349 shares of Bernie Sanders to win the Iowa caucus. Now, normally I wouldn't make this kind of bet. This is pretty rich for my blood, but I can't make fun of destiny and then not do a bet myself, right? I have to do it. I have to. So he backed out of that bet before the Iowa caucus was over because he is actually a coward. He sold them. To do it. I, and, you know, so there you go. We'll see who's right. You know, if I lose it, that would suck. You know, it will suck. But I'm not, I'm going to go, I believe. I, I'm not a coward. I'm a morally consistent <laughs> enemy. Hi, I'm getting triggered. <laughs> Where do I see my open orders? What is this shit ass website? Holy fuck. PB laugh. Okay, we're done making easy money off of Bernie. All right, hold on. Fuck. I got to blow my nose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love it, chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Listen. 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 It's just Iowa, right? Why does he acting like he doesn't know what he's doing? Because he doesn't know what he's fucking doing. That's pretty amazing. Smuggling straw streamer offering a thousand dollar bets. Yeah, it's called conviction, Jordan. So here's the thing about betting. Don't bet. Do, absolutely, do not make bets. And there's one small caveat. If you have absolute conviction in something, I think that it's time. I, I think it's fine to bet. As long as you have absolute conviction. I afford to lose all the money. But you know what? I'm gonna go down with my ship. I'm gonna go down with it. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope this video includes him selling his shares before the caucus ends. Damn, how do you have no integrity? How do you have such a lack of spine? It is so creepy. Sell your bet shares. Oh, I already did. I, 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 uh, chat, oh. I'm gonna tell you. I'll be honest with you. Once, <laughs> once I heard they were reporting 62%, I sold my shares because I knew this is exactly what they were gonna do. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was exactly what they were gonna do. And I was gonna confess to you later. By the way, everybody, if you want to go in Destiny's chat and just do minus 850, so we're bending the knee to Bernie. And I, and I want people to, like, bend the knee, like, you know, use my emotes in, in, in chats, you know? Bending the knee to Bernie is an interesting emote combination to use all around the platform, you know? In a non-specific, non-targeted way. You know what I mean? Like, that's what emotes are for, right? You're supposed to help spread awareness of your community, right? And for some reason, I just find the negative 850 to just look so good next to bending the knee to Bernie, right? Well, sure. Obviously. You know? Negative 850, bend the knee to Bernie. I, I think that that's, like, a good meme to just spread around non-specifically. PP Lao? PP Lao. Right, um, sure. So, even though I say this a million times, people can't separate out when I'm trying to, like, say, this is what I think every voter thinks, this is what I think about this candidate or whatever, versus, like, Destiny loves this candidate. Like, there's a lot of people that legitimately thought that I was, like, a Delaney. I think Hassan and his companies might literally still think that I'm, like, pulling hard for Delaney. Um, who's he pulling for? This... By the way, who's he pulling for? Mr. Political Commentator. Who are you pulling for? I don't... Not really pulling for anybody. I just kind of commentate on it. I'm not, like, super wrapped up on who gets through. I don't feel very excited about any of the candidates. But I think I've been, like, pretty straightforward with that pretty much the entire time, I think. I don't think anybody knows who you're pulling for because you're too much of a coward to tell us. See, the thing is, is that for Mike, this is all about picking the right sports team and then going all in on that, like, champion. And, like, that's who you go because it's, like, you're about cheering on your fucking team. I just talk about politics. Um, and I'm more interested in, like, policy debate than, like, who gets through, like, an election process. Like, that's not, like, picking the winning team isn't, like, the huge thing for me. Like, that's not what I'm super ultra concerned with. Fucking idiot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, come on. Is he? Can someone show me a clip of, Bur of, of, of him expressing an actual opinion where he can get fact-checked? Like, when he says, I think so-and-so is going to win prior to tonight. Anybody. I know he had Biden as his uh, as his banner on Twitter before he got banned. 
But can you someone tell me who he's actually supporting? I know he has a has $150 bet against Bernie being the nominee, minus 850. Um, but tell me what his fucking numbers are. Tell me what his guesses are. Let's go. I know. Hey. So my guess has always been that Bernie could never get over that 25% hump in the electorate because he was too far left in the beginning and it would never happen. And I thought that Bernie had no chance of it. That was my guess three months ago. Now, as of after Iowa, New Hampshire, seemed like Joe Biden was falling apart. All the moderates competing against each other. I was like, oh, fuck, maybe Bernie can win. I don't know. But that was my prediction like three or four months ago. That's why I bet against Bernie. Hey, listen, when you're just bullshitting with somebody from your like community <coughs> or your Discord and they're not very informed, you seem smart. But why don't you make some actual fucking projections and predictions? I've been saying Bernie, Bernie. That was my projection and prediction. That's what he just spent so much time making fun of my bet for. He's the most electable for seven months Eight on Twitch. Eight you and nine months. months, sub. So what is your prediction? A massive surge in the polls. Like my original prediction on Delaney was that I thought that he had like a lot of strong talking moments of debate, and That's I thought he would double or triple his support. That means moving from like one percent to like two or three. Did he double or triple his support? No, he did not. You didn't even get that. Petro Zium, thanks for six months. That's all. I, that's all I ever said about Delaney. But like people like hold that prediction. Like, oh, Jesse loves Delaney, but he's, he still thinks Delaney's gonna be president. Like okay. nobody says that. We make fun of your analysis of that at that debate. We instantaneously started making fun of you right away because you repeated some talking point you heard on MSNBC or CNN from some dipshit commentator, and you know. So he's mad because I said that Delaney made good challenges to Medicare oh, for all oh, oh. because a lot of people think that Medicare for all is universally supported in like it and it's not um every attack that delaney made against medicare for all he was the first one to start making to make that attack too on the debate stage was echoed by pete Buttigieg, was echoed by joe biden the current front runner and was echoed by um amy klobuchar um i mean like i, I mean i was completely i was dead on when i said that that attack was going to come over and over again i don't even know if i had realized at the time how extreme bernie's health care plan was until delaney brought up the canceling all private insurance or i started to realize like rhetorically like holy shit wait that's actually gonna be a really rough one to ride through in the general <laughs> Um, but everybody apparently disagreed with me because of one poll that when praised in an incredibly favorable way showed that people were in favor of Medicare for all and like over like at 74% or whatever. But, okay. So little about politics that you couldn't say, oh, this is obviously a hack and he has nothing to do with the average voter. And there's no way that the average voter watched that poll, watched that debate and thought Delaney won. You actually thought Delaney won because people on CNN and MSNBC told you that. I don't think I thought, first of all, I don't know if anyone on CNN or MSNBC thought Delaney won. Secondly, I don't think I thought Delaney won. I just thought he'd like gain a couple points in support. When you're a really small uh, candidate like that, it's pretty easy to move the needle and gain like twice or three times your support. A few candidates did it. I think Yang did it. I know Warren did it. Um, I think, to um, uh, uh, not Tulsi. Tulsi might have actually after a couple things, but I know Kamala did it. Like It's pretty easy to like double or triple your support when you're at like two or three points, you know? You have no fucking clue. You're totally disconnected from politics. And by politics, I mean what the voters want, what's a good argument to make, to persuade people, and who can possibly win. Oh, Pete did as well. But at the yeah. end of the day, the difference is that like, I'm not like super invested in who wins. I don't think Bernie will win. Um, for the reasons <laughs> I support, I don't like Bernie's policies. I think they're demonstrably bad. I'll debate anybody about any of them, and I have, and nobody's put up a good argument against me on any of them. <laughs> I will debate you right fucking now. I mean, I'm not going to debate you now because that would be lowering my. He won't debate me because he wants me to pay him a thousand dollars because he knows he can't defend things like nationwide rent control or zero cost at the point of consumption of health care or free education for even middle class and wealthy elites. Um, he, he wouldn't be able to defend any of those things because they're indefensible, like understandably so. I wouldn't expect them to because you can't. <laughs> Myself, But maybe sometime later in the week, we can debate. I will debate you on every single point. And he'll try to find one thing. My guess is he'll talk about the Green New Deal as it won't be able to pass. I don't even talk about the Green New Deal because it won't be able to pass. So it's hilariously unsupported. Um, there have been so many health care bills and whatnot that have been passed through uh, Congress. Uh, or not through Congress, I should say the House. The Green New Deal is not one of them. It has no support. Hmm. That'll probably be his, like, his, his argument will be political plausibility, which he has no fucking clue. I don't need political plausibility to argue against. There's that massive RAND study. There's been so many studies about how free at point of consumption healthcare, it represents a significant moral hazard that would degrade the system, both in quality offered because of the overconsumption of healthcare um, and the lack of affordability on a public level because he wouldn't get the funding for it. Um, you can argue deficit spending, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But even even a current analysis of Bernie's plan that, that Bernie bros even links showing that it um, covers everybody is still like deficit funded by like $10 trillion um, or maybe more than that maybe less maybe it was six to it was either six or 13 trillion i don't remember it was in the trillions it was a lot <laughs> but um yeah because he also thought bernie could not win so the guy who didn't think bernie could win anything and he had less of a chance of winning than yang quote from destiny probably can't has no fucking clue what political plausibility is um i, I don't think the, i don't think it's good but it's not like part of my identity who like wins this nomination oh is he watching um, a clip of me this is him watching a clip of me that's fine i have no problem voting for bernie over trump like i would do that a million times out of a million times without even thinking about it um <laughs> Lucid Fox Central Committee, he just admitted that he's only going to support the nominee. Wait, he doesn't have an opinion on the, on the primary? Well, you know. So here's what I have to say to you. Say to you. Shut the fuck up, then. Go wait till June or July. Do 100% league streams. We've got work to do. We're going to be picking the nominee for you. You can be an obedient, blue no matter who voter. Go wait till July. We'll, we'll come and get you then. Okay? We're in charge, as you just told me. I'll pick it for you. I still don't. I mean, it's possible. He could, I guess. I don't think he's going to, but...
He's pivoting. He's changing. But also, he used to be, he had zero chance. Less chance than Yang. Well, I guess it's possible. Looks like he's starting. He's, this is what this is what Destiny does, by the way. He slowly changes imperceptibly when he realizes he's wrong to the getting. So I slowly change my mind as information changes. Um, Bernie had a really good showing in Iowa, New Hampshire. Now I still didn't think he'd win. I can't. I didn't cancel my bet. I still held it. But I mean, yeah, he definitely looked better after Iowa, New Hampshire than he did before Iowa, New Hampshire. Of course, I'm gonna change my mind a little bit as new information comes in. What kind of an idiot wouldn't like? <laughs> of course. Getting to the correct position. Instead of saying, you know what, I used to think he could win, but now I'm starting to think he has a chance. He phrases it like, I never changed my view while changing his view. That's such a slimy move. Like, dude, just admit you were wrong. You didn't think he had a chance. And he was, you were wrong. You didn't think he had a chance. And you were wrong. He does actually have a chance. He could possibly win. His view. So, like, this is called being an intelligent person. I do change my view over time. You know what? If Bernie were to steamroll Iowa and New Hampshire, I would change my view. I'd say, oh, yeah, fuck. Maybe Bernie does have a shot. When new information comes in, I, I change my mind. What do you do? <laughs> this is actually, I mean, that's, yeah, of course. I still, I still, right now, I don't really think Bernie has a shot at winning the nomination, but. Yeah, when Bernie starts winning the nomination and reality tells me I'm wrong and there's I can't deny it anymore, then I change my view. <laughs> Honestly, folks. I mean So the reality has been months of polling data, years of campaigning, um, and so much information across the board. That's the information that I've been going on, not just the results from one caucus and one primary. Or was it two caucuses? Was New Hampshire a caucus as well? I don't remember. Um but they I'm pretty sure New Hampshire is a primary, right? Um yeah, the, the, I don't think that those two battlegrounds are like the best place to draw information from. Um, I, I was going by the more, uh, the, the broader polling data at the time, but okay. Like if you go to him for politics, I don't know what to tell you, yikes. Sneakily ignoring that he isn't hiding him changing. Now it's, yes, I'm openly changing my position. By the way, I don't think Bernie can win. But I, when, I, when I'm proven wrong, I accept reality. Good job, buddy. Oh, you did it, you figured it out. All right, this guy's gotta go. Ah. You know, it's all those white college kids, right, chat? It's all those white college kids. You know, uh, let me tell you something. So many white college kids in Nevada that Bernie ran away with it. You know, Steven, quit politics. <laughs> Just put my emoji on the middle of your screen. Quit politics. And just work. Work on the gaming. Work on the gaming. I almost want to talk to him out of pity at this point. <laughs> like before I was like, ah, he's got to pay me, he's got to pay me. Keep in mind that even before Super Tuesday, I said I would have talked to Mike at any point in time, but he dodges the debate by saying I would have to pay him first, which I'm never going to do, obviously. He's not worth doing that, um, clearly. But at this point, out of pity, I might debate him or discuss with him and let him get his rage out so he can move on with his life mm -hmm. and go back to gaming content or, or debating whether or not you can fuck dead bodies or whatever he used to do. There's going to be so many salty centrists. That's Braxa. So many salty centrists. Bernie's running away with it, guys. Destiny must be molding right now. Either he's molding or he's just sitting there pretending he's like ignoring it it. he's ignoring it totally. Yeah. The reality was I was actually in Sweden vacation with my Swedish girlfriend about to go skiing. Um, but yeah, I was also molding at home, um, crying about like, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know if there's projection here or if he thinks that I'm like nonstop, like refreshing CNN to like mauled over fucking whatever when I'm like in other like countries, like on vacation. But I don't know, maybe. I think he's more the type to ignore. actually. I actually I would do that. I would refresh right it and mold over shit. Actually, that's actually one hundred percent true. Let's be real now. <laughs> more totally, because ignoring it totally keeps the bubble more intact than molding. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he's just ignoring it. it only works Smiling face week. with sunglasses. Oh, there is one chat where it won't work. Destiny's chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> because he's so triggered by Bernie Sanders winning, as I predicted. He's blocked my emotes because his ego can't handle seeing all the bended knees to Bernie. Who's that? never mind. No one. It doesn't matter. It's a League of Legends streamer. He doesn't talk politics much, but he was a big Biden supporter. So he's pretty angry. All right, let's get back. Let's get back to this. Let's answer questions that are from Make Leaf Land, uh, except for Miami, Cubans, my parents, and I mean, like that's just too far fetched. That's like thinking Destiny is gonna make money on his Bernie bet. Um, it's just so far fetched. Minus eight fifty, by the way. Minus eight fifty in the chat. Uh, you don't see the politics yet, but we will show you. We will show you, Paul. We will show you. But here's the thing. This is like a debate. This is like one of my six debates with uh, the League of Legends streamer. You just bend the fucking knee. You just bend the fucking knee to Bernie and the Wolf. Um, the headliners have zombies. Pull up the live ones. <laughs> I mean, if Biden wins Massachusetts, that's a, that's a catastrophe. <laughs> Fox predicting uh, Biden wins North Carolina again. Interesting. Who's <laughs> Mike, do a flip uh, to get yourself pumped. Yeah. Well. <laughs> do a flip. It's sad, Jet. Sad. Poor, this poor Mike. <laughs> this is Bernie losing in states where he spent less than six thousand dollars by the way can you give me energy chat <laughs> jesus are you gonna give me energy or <laughs> not voted yet and won't vote tonight they're coming up later in march florida and georgia I was a delegate I was a one key county could tell us yeah keep in mind massachusetts that place would be a disaster if biden won 
Uh, he spent fifteen thousand dollars on advertising there. If you want proof that money doesn't win politics, your proof is that Bernie did not sweep Super Tuesday. <laughs> Or Bloomberg, I guess. About one of the most important swing states of this, and frankly, every election year. Just otherwise. I just think I, I, I just I, I'm like I'm actually I'm very surprised about the Biden. Um, I, <laughs> is the uh, Marky Kennedy primary tonight? Yeah, it is. I should uh, take a look at that. I just need to do something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Need to do something. Uh, hanging out with. Them. All right, Enjoy all right, everybody. I, I, I love you all, and uh, thank you for being so supportive. And you know, I've been so shitty. Uh, I'll, I promise to be higher energy tomorrow. All right. See you all mm -hmm. then. <laughs> first things first let's let's be honest with ourselves here this is a very bad result um is it is it such a catastrophic result that bernie can't win no however it probably is so unfortunately um for super tuesday now not saying it's impossible well personally i think it's possible but there are still bernie paths forward there's bernie math forward but um the problem is that Bernie needed a huge win tonight, especially, or not tonight, but on Tuesday, especially in California. It was so important for him to walk away with a fuck ton of, because he needs a really good bubble to protect him when we start going through all those southern states where Biden is just going to clean the fuck up. Um, yeah, and now the polling data for Florida is starting to look really fucking scary. Um and, and these are places like Florida, Texas. These are places where all the Hispanic people are. Where Bernie, remember how many times were Bernie, huge minority support. Okay, destiny, maybe not African Americans. Bernie, huge Hispanic support. And then my response is, well, Hispanics tend to be way younger than the normal voting population. Do you think maybe that might be the overstatement of support? Maybe it's possible. I don't know. I, there was a Vox article on that that it's possible that that could have been. It's hard to say for sure, but um, um, however. It was really bad. There are a number of states where Warren's vote was double or more of the gap between Biden and, and uh, Bernie. Massachusetts is a great example of that. Um, Texas, etc. Mike perpetually saying, yeah, I think it's the mic. I'm not used to having the mic actually this close to my face. Um, You're all getting fat. <sighs> Thanks. All right. You know what, chat? I feel like everybody's a little bit low energy today. I'm a little bit low energy today. I need to get packing and stuff for... Uh, for going back tomorrow and then i'll try to get on uh for the stream normal times um and uh we'll go from there we'll keep we'll keep it rolling um thank you everybody i think you know what we've got a lot to talk about and uh we're gonna get energized and we're gonna do this thing all right the funny thing is is that if you start looking at where warren was taking votes for bernie and you try to add them together to like mutate a candidate remember when everybody made fun of me, like you can't mutate you can't mutate a moderate candidate of all three people. It's not like Bernie's running as three people. And then when they all dropped out, now Bernie's getting crushed. People act like if you mutate Bernie and Warren together and only put her up against Biden, that it actually was a little bit better for Bernie. But nobody wants to mention that if you do the same to Bloomberg and add him to Biden, then they still get annihilated. <laughs> and nobody likes to understand the fact that if Warren drops, half of those voters are probably going to Biden. It's probably not even going to help Bernie. Absolutely nothing to be concerned about. We're going to get this thing. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for... Oh, fuck. There's some interesting articles that I wanted to read. I have a really interesting one from the New York Times here by um, Jennifer Steinhauer. Um, and interesting information about, like, progressives and whatnot. But, um... You know, I, I talk about white college kids. This is some district math I need to look into. I didn't realize this. Apparently when Ocasio-Cortez won her district, I, I heard so many alt-writers say it was because of demographic change and whatnot. Apparently she lost in her own, like, in the in the area that she lived. She even lost that area. Apparently where Ocasio-Cortez won was more by the wealthy and educated people in, in Queens. Um Mr. Crowley, the person running against her, prevailed in most working class corners of the district, including the district's Hispanic and African American enclaves. He beat Miss Ocasio Cortez by more than 25 points in her own Park Truster section of the Bronx. Uh, I didn't know that. Wow. Um, if that's actually true, that's actually more meme than than I even like originally thought. Oh, here, Eric, you can read this. I haven't like gone through the article to see if it's true or not, but um. Okay, I need to set up my dandy stuff, okay? I'll let you guys rip on. Because it would be sad to see if people like Hassan or Kyle Kalinske are actually damaging to the Bernie Sanders movement. If these people are...